Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to Small Detective Pikachu. Last episode, Amanda gave us a lift on her speedboat, which Tim and Pikachu did not like. So we can go and meet Dr. Walls, which we have found here, thanks to uh, the help of Milo, who led us to his house. However, once we arrived, this police officer right here thinks Dr. Walls is guilty. Um, he's responsible for starting the fog in the lake, which we are going to investigate. So let's check our case notes. And we have investigate the fog situation. Gotta get to the lake, but how without using the bridge? Right, so the bridge to the lake is out. We need to find a way. So maybe Milo knows? What's up? Well, it can't be the culprit. Uh, about the fog situation. What Brad's saying isn't true. Walls can't be the culprit. He cares more than anyone about the w wounded Pokemon. Milo? I've got to prove to everyone that Walls isn't guilty. Okay, so about the bridge. Must have been broken when the wounded Pokemon escaped from the lake. Is there any other way to get to the lake? Uh, well... Seems like he knows something, but maybe he doesn't want to say anything around Brad. Let's head outside. Yeah. Alright, sounds like a good idea. And Dr. Walls? There's no need for you to try and protect me. Uh, so about the fog situation. I'm not the culprit. The reason I've been going to the lake is to gather ingredients for potions. Did you explain that to Brad? Hmph. <laughs> and what good would that do? People only believe what they want to believe. Not wrong there. About the bridge. If only the mist would clear, we could ask to have the bridge fixed. But there's little we can do if we don't know the cause. Fair play. I think we've spoken to Brad already last episode. Right. Oh no, we haven't. Okay, about the fog situation. So about a week ago, some sort of fog started occurring around the lake. Since then, people have been finding wounded Pokemon around town. So about the bridge. The bridge to the lake is destroyed, so there's no way to investigate that area. This must be Walls is doing, to impede our investigation. So, uh, about Walls' involvement. Now, I'm willing to bet that Walls is the cause of the wounded Pokemon, too. He must be doing some sort of strange research. You can't just make all that up. Walls caused a huge problem at PCL 10 years ago. I think it's natural to consider him our prime suspect. I don't. Alright, so let's head outside and uh, see if we can head to the lake. Or at least the bridge and see if we can find a cause. What up, Manetric? So what, you're still mad? Man, you really can't take a joke, can you? So about Brad. What, stay out of Brad's way? We should be telling him to stay out of ours. Stop fighting already. We need to start an investigation. So about Walls. It's saying Walls is definitely the bad guy and there's no way he's going to escape. There's still nothing to prove that Walls is the culprit. Maybe if we find some proof that he's innocent, Manitric will trust us? Okay. Oh, Look at that Tropius. That's really cool. So anyway, what was it all about? Okay, so about the fog situation. Oh, I see. I didn't realize there was so much going on in the lake. You wouldn't happen to know anything about this whole incident, would you? Not really, no. I don't think I'll be much help. I was off the island for a bit because of work. I see. So about the bridge. They said the bridge to the lake has collapsed. Better to stay away for now, I think. Hmm, <laughs> so Brad was right about one thing. Okay, so Spritzy, what up? It's about the fog situation. Yeah, the fog is making things so damp. My perfect fur is all soggy now. <laughs> it's about Louise. Proud that Louise is your partner, huh? Yeah, I can imagine. Alright, I want to speak to this Tropius. Sweet necked. <laughs> I really like Tropius. It looks really cool. So this. This is a Pokemon, right? It looks like a tree. <laughs> it says it can fly with the leaves on his back. How interesting. It's about the fog situation. You're gonna have to throw it on your neck. Oh, wow, that's not as good. I could eat a whole bucket of these. Thanks. So what we here? We got a little, uh... That's the same sort of um, thing we saw back before one of the houses. I have no idea what it is, though. Uh, what can I do for you? So about the fog situation. Was is suspected of being the uh, perpetrator of the fog mystery. Lieutenant Brad seems to be intent on finding proof before the boat leaves. That means we can't uh, dilly-dally. So about the bridge. The bridge ahead has collapsed. The area is unsafe, so it would be best for you to stay away. So about Brad. The lieutenant is very dedicated to his work. He works passionately to bring peace to Rhyme City. Hmm. <laughs> Guess he's not a bad guy. And that's it. Got the next police officer. Oh, look at the eyes. Hmm, I wonder. The only thing I can guess it could be is potentially Masquerine. Or oh, is it Masquerine or Masquerine? I have no idea. Hmm. You're, I know, you're the detective that solved the PCL case, right? Oh, you're quite the celebrity now. Hey, don't make fun of me. 
I was thinking this was a boring island, but if you're here, maybe something interesting will happen. It's about the fog situation. So, Detective, do you think Wallace is the culprit? No, there's no evidence, so I can't say. You're cautious, aren't you? I can't go against Lieutenant Brad's orders, but if there's anything I can help with, let me know. Oh, this guy seems like he's going to be on our side, which is nice. So, about the bridge. The bridge has fallen down and can't be crossed. Wait until the fog clears. And about Brad. He's not a bad person, but he's not very flexible about in his thinking. You might find it hard to get promotions being like that. I see. Oops, don't tell anyone I said that, okay? Lieutenant can hold a grudge. Am I the only one who thinks this guy probably won't get promoted anytime soon either? <laughs> yeah. So... Oh, Pikachu, I, I see the eyes. Hey, Tim, do you see something over there? Oh, no, the fog's too thick. I can hardly see anything. Hmm, kind of saw that someone was watching us. Maybe I'm just imagining things. No, it's over there. How do we get to it? So I, oh. Hey, Tim. Yep. Tim. Bridge is broken and it looks like it's going to stay that way for a while. Because we don't have a choice, let's head back to town and ask around to see if there's another way to the lake. Alright, sounds good. So Milo definitely knows another way to the lake. But he can't say in front of Brad. I guess he can't. Oh, wait. There you go. Tim, wait up. What's up, Milo? Actually, there is a way you can get to the lake. Really? Heard about it when I was a kid. That there's a secret path that leads to the lake. Somewhere on this island. I see. I hope we can find some hint as to where it is. Apparently, they always took something with them when they went through the secret path. Maybe a hint is hidden in there. Maybe. Something, huh? For the time being, let's ask people who seem like they'd know a lot about the island. I agree. Thanks, Milo. So the secret path. It's got to be down there, surely. I don't know, it seems like it leads somewhere. But we might need something first. Which I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's go ask around, maybe we can find something. So, about the secret path. Did you come from the lake, Douglet? But how did you get here when the bridge is down? Maybe through the secret path, or... Oh, you just swam down the lake? Huh. It's about the fog situation. I wonder, does Ducklet's injuries have anything to do with this case? It says it doesn't remember how it got hurt very well. Oh. That sucks. Oh, hello. Don't remember seeing you before. Don't think I've seen you before. I don't remember seeing you before either. Where are you from? Um, I do know there's been thick fog uh, covering the area since about a week ago. Then again, the only people who went up there were the old folks anyway. I guess the younger townspeople don't really have a reason to go to the lake, huh? Uh, secret path. Secret path, huh? Can't say I've heard of it. Well, that's that. Let's ask the others. Okie dokie. Yo, what up? Oh, it's the flag. Uh, I wonder about the secret path. Secret path? Hmm, I know I've heard that somewhere. But what was it about? It was about the secret path getting to the, uh, the lake, but... Been hearing strange rumours ever since the fog started coming in around the lake. What kind of rumours? Something about a monster with huge eyes appearing. What? All I'm saying is, watch yourself if you plan on heading to the lake. Thanks, buddy. I will watch myself. So, Zumaril, do you know about the secret path? No, I don't think it's, it's underwater. <laughs> Humans can't really stay underwater for that long. So, about the uh, situation. You are attacked by something at the lake. If you don't remember, that's fine. Uh, sorry to remind you of a scary thing. Don't worry. We'll get the one responsible for this. You. Oh. You must know about this uh, secret secret path. You want to train even more at the secret path? Uh, not sure that's what it's for. <laughs> okay, so about the fog situation. The chief's told you not to go near the lake when the fog comes in, huh? He just doesn't want you to get hurt. Aw. Anyway, let's go talk to you. What's wrong? It's about the secret path. A secret path? I feel like I've heard that mentioned before. I'm sorry, I don't think it'll come back to me anytime soon. Oh, you suck. <laughs> about the fog situation. Nobody really knows why the lake has been suddenly covered by thick fog. It's not like the weather's that bad or anything, so what could be the cause? Sounds like something strange is happening at the lake. Better check it out. Okay, got this thing. So it's a monument of some kind, uh, it's got some kind of design carved into it, it definitely looks old anyway. Look around it though, it's get very clean, it must be something very important to the island people. So you got one of these by um, Dr. Walls' house, but it's all, all dirty. Yo! What's up? 
About the secret path. Oh, I remember going through that path as a kid. Oh, here we go. Used to have a lake festival here, back in the day. We'd all go to the lake for the secret path to participate. This was way before we built a bridge, of course. Oh, I see. Okay, so where is it? <laughs> when the day of the festival comes around, the grown-ups would pass out scrolls to all the kids. Those scrolls would have riddles on them that would help them get through the path. You wouldn't happen to have one of these scrolls, would you? No, sorry, this is uh, from way back when I was a kid. The old man who used to hand out the scrolls might still have some lying around. Then again, he might not even remember any of this. A scroll, huh? Well, it's the only lead we've got. Let's go ask the old man in town. Alrighty. Wait. Before you go anything else, you can talk about the scroll. Might, you know, if, if we've got a silver riddle, he might be able to, like, give us a hint. Can't say I remember what the scroll said. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I do remember that we had to solve some sort of riddle to get through the secret path, though. The old man in town should know more about this. Alright, okay. I was hoping, in case it was a riddle, the guy might know, but it seems not. Oh. Yo, riddle. I guess he's got a flag X marks the spot, but I don't know. About the scroll. The chief of timber transport told us you might have a scroll that had information about this secret path. The scrolls, of course, now I remember. We used to hand them out to the children when uh, we were about to have our lake festival. They were so excited they would always call the old road to the lake the secret path. Also trying to get to the lake, uh, do you think you could let us see the scroll? You're a bit old, but you want to take on our little trial? <laughs> well, of course. I'm so happy you're interested in our culture. Wait one moment. Let me go get the scroll for you. We're on a Lola right now, doing a trial. This is the scroll I was talking about. Go on, take it with you. Thank you very much. Right. So about the scroll. Thank you very much for giving us the scroll. No, oh, don't mention it. Our island festival is an, an important part of our culture here. You young folks should learn all about our little island. Right, alright, so we've got the scroll, let's have a look. Right, so at night time, it looks like the path opens, but... Uh, there are three pictures, and then some sort of instructions written on it. Is this the clue to the secret path? I imagine so. But first we need to actually find the secret path. Oh, sorry, f uh, forget about that bit. Wait, what? Listen closely now. The two scales will guide you to the secret path. Remember that? The two scales? What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> if I told you that, it wouldn't be a challenge now, would it? Finding the path is the first step. Well, good luck out there. Guess we don't have a choice. We we'll have to figure out what the two scales means and find the path for ourselves. So I think I know this. Right? Surely. It's got three pictures on it, but... Maybe not. That secret path the old man mentioned has to be on this island somewhere. Let me know if you find anything that might be a clue. Uh, let's give it a try. Say something to me. Okay. Don't see anything around here that has anything to do with a secret path. If you find anything, let me know. Okay. So, two scales. Uh, let's see. See, for me, the secret path, I would assume, was where I said before. Uh, just down here. There are a lot of rocks lying around. I wonder if some monument or something got busted. Sure looks like it. Huh, hey Tim, check this out. Two, two marks chiseled into the stone. Hey, do you think these are meant to uh, be scales? Now that you mention it, they do kind of look like scales. I get it now. The number of scales carved into the statue is the clue. The two scales would guide us to the secret path, so that means... Yeah, I think we found it. This is the entrance to the secret path. Hey Tim, you found the secret path? You gotta take me with you. Of course, the entrance is just beyond here, come on. Okay, cool. Let's go. Is it a Stunfisk monument and a Tropius monument? They look pretty cool. So this is the secret path. Oh, I got more of the eyes. Looks really uh, convoluted. Hmm. We can figure out what the scrolls are saying. We able to follow the path without getting lost, right? Let's have a look at the scroll for starters. Right. So we got three pictures. Yellow circle. This must be a full moon. And then a half circle in the sky. This must be a half moon. Hmm. Maybe the shape of the moon is some sort of clue. And then. Black circle, as if there's a hole in the sky. Now, what would this mean? Come on, that's common sense. No moon in the sky, is, so in other words, a new moon. Alright. 
The three moons, but there's something else I've been wondering about. Yeah, each picture of the moon has a different colour too. Green, pink and blue? These cards must be a clue too. Right, so um... Let me write this down before I forget, because it could come in handy. New moon, blue, half, full, I'm sorry, it's pink and green. Right, got that down. So, you haven't checked everything here? It's important not to overlook anything. Oh, the text? What does it say down here? Let me see. The night of the full moon is the beginning. Pass through the shadows of darkness, and when thou witness, wit, uh, witness the split moon, the lake shall bestow its blessing. What in the world? It's like some kind of riddle. Okay. And you got text on the top as well. Something's written here, let's see. If thou wisheth to reach the lake, Follow the light of the moon and face the three challenges. What do you think that means? Follow the light of the moon, huh? If that's not an important clue, my name isn't Pikachu. <laughs> right, so... We want to follow this, so surely green's got to be... first. And then we go here. The night of the full moon is the beginning. Yeah. Pass through the shadow of the darkness. Okay, so then it should be uh, blue, and then pink, so that should be the the riddle. Okay, so I think that's uh, all we're going to glean from just looking at the scroll. We still need more information. There might be clues uh, uh, along the secret path as well. Are those Pokemon statues in front of each path? Bet they're important. Good point. Well then, let's go have a look at those statues. Yeah, I'll make a note of anything. Uh, we noticed about the statues in my case list, too. Sweet. Let me help, too. If there's anything about Pokemon, I'm your go-to guy. Okay. Is that a Feebas just on its side? The statue is Tropius. Its green leaves are very well made. Yeah, it's almost as if someone just shrank a Tropius and put it here. Okay. You got a Stunfisk. What's this brown Pokemon statue? That's a Stunfisk. You find a lot of them near water. They give you a jolt of electricity if you step on one, so be careful. Maybe some uh, around here. Be careful, Pikachu. Just who do you think you're talking to? You should be the one keeping an eye out. And you got a broken statue over here, which... Oh. Huh? What is that? Self-professed island protector. <laughs> This looks really bad. It's still alive, right? So it's you again. What? Pull yourself together, buddy. This happens to you all the time. You need to be more careful. There, all better. But it still doesn't look so good. Nah. Feebas just look like that. It's their natural state. Is that so? Phoebe Feeba! I suppose it looks healthy enough. It's dangerous out there with all this fog, so you should really stay put. It seems to be anxious about something. You're right. Let's see what it has to say. Yeah. Alright, uh, Feebas, so what are you so right up about? What, the lake's in trouble, and you need to get back? But what if you get hurt again? Oh, I know, Feebas, we're heading to the lake too. Why don't you come with us? And it's about the Pokemon statues. Feebas, do you know anything about the Pokemon statues around here? It says they look like they were modelled after Pokemon that live on the island, but it doesn't know what they have to do with the scroll. Okay, well, let's have a look and see what we can find. So, about its wounds. Your wounds okay? That's good to hear. What in the world happened anyway? You were swimming in the lake when something suddenly threw you? What in the world is going on? We need to get to the lake quickly and figure out what's happening. So about the fog situation. You've been living in the lake a long time, but you've never seen anything like this before? Even the Pokemon that live here don't know what's causing the fog, huh? No, they do not. Right, so what's this statue? Do you think this was a Pokemon statue too? It's hard to tell since it was busted up, but there's some blue colour left on it. Right, so, I'm assuming, green first, let's go this way. Oh, we haven't saw the riddle yet, the scroll yet, we'll be in trouble if we uh, just get lost in the fog. Let's figure out what the scroll means before moving ahead. 
I know what it means. Well, I guess you have to, uh... Hey, Tim. We've checked all three statues. Tell me, does the scroll mean anything to you? Yes, so, these case notes, we have... Uh... The three colours. And there'll be the three statues. Do you think that's of course! The colours! One of the pictures that's on the scroll has a uh, background the same colour as a statue. So let's take the path of the statue that has the same colour as on the scroll. Yep. According to the scroll, there are three trials. The question is, which colour do we choose? The scroll should have clues for us. So go ahead and check in your case list. Oh, okay, so we want to take uh, green, then blue, and then pink. You're right. If we put the moons in the same order as on the scroll, you'll get full moon, new moon, and half moon. And their background colors are green, blue, and then pink. Now we know which path we need to take. We'll start with green. Does that make sense to you? Yes! It does make sense to me. I'm the one who, uh, knew what to do ages ago. Alright. Tropius is a green one. That means we take the path with Tropius' statue. All right, that's what I tried doing before, but let's go. Sure this is the right way? I think so. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'll solve the puzzles and breeze <laughs> through this maze. Pikachu, look underneath you. Huh? What? Stone, really stone, really. Pikachu, get out of there. Close one. Thanks for that, Tim. That was a close one. My QTEs are just just terrible. I almost like mess up the A button so much. Oh, those dumb fists were too slow with their little shocks. Another fork in the road, Tim. Let's check out the scroll and see what the uh, second color is. Okay. You're up, dumb fisk. Is it smiling? Man, that's kind of creepy. So about the fog situation. They said the Pokemon keep fleeing from the lake, almost every day now. But that makes it hard for the Stumpfist to live in peace too. So about the electric shocks? Uh, electric shocks. Hey, do you think you could uh, teach me how to produce electric shocks? Don't scoff at me, how rude. All right, so case notes. Second path. Those statues need to be checked. Oh, okay. So we got a uh, ducklet, which is blue. Such so as color is all uh, peeled off, but we've seen this Pokemon before. Got Wingo, which is white with a bit of blue on it. So the color's completely gone, but this is a statue of a Wingo. If only we had wings like them, we could have uh, just fl uh, fly to the lake. Well, that make things easy. And then we got a nice little timber. Statue of timber. Colors all gone. We need to figure out what the statue's color originally was. We've seen a timber before, so it's all good. Second path. Let's do this. It looks like the second color is blue, but the statues have lost their color, which means we'll solve it once we know the color of the original Pokemon. So blue, white, that color. Perfect. Now we know the original color. What do you think? Which of these paths should we take? The blue path! Some of them feel like that, you know them kid shows? Like, <laughs> when you're at home and you're watching, they're like, 
do you know the answer? And you're like, yes, the answer is this. And they're like, good, that's right. And it's like, you it waits that big pause. That's what I feel like with this game sometimes. Right. We'll try the path with Ducklet's statue. Yay. So we got one more path to take after this. Pokemon and the Fox got me masquerading, 100%. So there are three different paths again. A little, uh, little grotto and uh, Shellos. There are three cards on the scrolls, so this must be the last riddle. Just a bit more. To go, Tim. All right. So you've got a grotto, Azeroth, and it's got to be Shellos. The statue of Shellos seems like several of them live in this area too. You're right. The statue is quite bigger than the uh, real thing. Shellos can be pink and blue, so. Oh ho ho. Got Asmaril. Guess the statue of Asmaril. All of its paint has fallen off though. All these Pokemon statues uh, must have been made a long time ago. And then we got Grotto. What Pokemon is this a statue of? This paint is peeling off here and there, but it's a Grotto. Look over there. You can see one. Wandering around. Wow, the real thing is pretty big. Alright. Um, we could probably just talk to the Pokemon and solve this, but... If I can do it now, I know Shellos can be pink. Female Shellos is a pink. How could the last color be pink? Do you see a pink Pokemon? We really need to figure this out. Right, pink Pokemon, Shellos. Oh, so why do you think it's a pink Pokemon? Oh, because. Oh, we haven't got the uh, right testimony to actually be able to solve it yet, so we've got to speak to the Shellos. One of them should say. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, man. Soft and sticky. <laughs> oh, man. We're investigating this area. Do you think you could tell us what you know about the fog situation? It's worried that it might get caught up in this incident since this area is so close to the lake. You need to solve this case quickly. About Shellos's shape. By the way, are those things on your back hard or soft? Good question, I was wondering about that myself. That's alright for us to touch then. I wonder what they feel like. <laughs> alright, what's up? Take a close look at the statue of Shellos and compare it with the real thing. Oh, the shape of their horns is different. Why would their shapes be different? Shellos may have some characteristics that uh, we don't know about. Shellos Milo. Yo. Yeah. Here we are, this should be the last riddle. Rumors at the lake? Only a bit more. So about Shellos. Shellos is an interesting Pokemon, its shape and colour change depending on where it lives. Or the water quality of the area. I thought it was male or female. Oh. But it'll be uh, interesting to compare the differences. Oh no! It's in um in Diamond and Pearl. When they were introduced, it's in different areas, right? It's like um I think it's like the, the sort of like West side, isn't it? Like the blue on the east side, the pink or something like that. It's not, I think it's male and female then. But it would be interesting to compare the differences. I wonder what they look like. Well, right now, I think uh, they've found two different ones. Pink and blue. Alright, so now... We can, uh... Do the case list. How could the last color be pink? Do you see a pink Pokemon? We really need to figure this out. Well, I figured it out ages ago. For my Pokemon knowledge! Oh? So why do you think it's a pink Pokemon? So... I need two? I need two testimonies. So another Shellos might must say something, surely. Shello. Hello Pikachu, a Shellos. Well, you certainly seem carefree. It's about shape. Shellos are so tiny and cute, they make me just happy looking at them. I know, right? <laughs> so back in the day, you guys looked different from the way you look now. Really? I wonder why they, well, what they look like. Oh. It's happy? No, the opposite. Some of its friends were injured because of this whole incident. And it's mad about that. Its face is always smiling, so it's hard to tell if it's angry or not. So I don't know if we can use that testimony. Like, it used to look different, but... Earth and water. And me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 
Uh, about the fog situation. What? How can you not notice all this commotion about the lake? Glad things have been peaceful for Grottle, uh, but it seems sure seems to live in its own world. About the lake. How long have you been living near the lake, Grottle? Four people came here? Wow, you definitely have a long lifespan. It's saying this area has changed a lot since humans started developing it. Even the water quality has changed since the old days, apparently. So it's going to be water quality. Right, so I think we've got our two testimonies. This should now be enough. How could the last color be pink? Did you see a pink Pokemon? We really need to figure this out. Right, third time the charm. So, it's Shellos. Oh, so why do you think it's a pink Pokemon? I think it's a pink Pokemon because Grotto said this changed and. And the water quality. Let's go. Yeah. I get it now. Shellos's color changes depending on the water quality, right? When this statue was made, the water quality here must have been different. That's why it was a pink Shellos. Now we know the colors. Which path do you think we should take? The one with the Shellos. Perfect. Now we can go straight to the lake. Alright, to the lake. 